sailboat uh oh hey oh hi welcome to b movie mania i'm mike hayes i'm paul brooks well obviously welcome to the special beach themed episode of b movie mania we're here at the beach beaching it up beaching it up having a good time having some uh, beach drinks and just soaking up the sun i'm loving it i am also loving it mm-hmm uh well paul we should just get right into it yeah, because we got some really interesting beach-themed movies to talk about today. First one off the off the harbor yacht shot. Uh huh. <laughs> the harbor yacht. The harbor shot. yacht shot. First one out of the dock. Out of the dock. That's something I would have wanted to say if had I been thinking about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, computer beach party. You're my two and only lover. Oh my gosh, computer beach party. In all of its glory. Oh, boy. This is something we've heard about for yeah. years. Been trying to watch it. Right. We finally watched it. We did it. And it was... Not what we expected. Not at all. I mean, you take a look at this absolutely gorgeous cover. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's beautiful. The, the logo, the, the artwork, everything. It's just absolutely astonishing. Top-notch stuff. And so you're thinking, or at least Mike, I was thinking that we were going to get into sort of like a, uh, you know, a classic 80s beach romp, you know? I thought that too. Yeah. We did not. Well, it's almost like they were trying to do that and had some trouble figuring out how to make a movie. Yeah, straight up the whole thing, how to make a movie. Not just how to make a movie about a beach party right. with computers in it. Because that sounds like a feat in itself. Computers are not known to be at the beach. Usually not. Like. I mean, Here's a computer at the beach. Yeah. That doesn't really happen in the movie. And not no point does it happen. No. no, it's a little bit of false advertising. Let's take a look at the back here. And uh, I'll read uh, the description here and, and we'll, we'll start from there. A user-friendly comedy. All circuits are go in this old-fashioned high-tech computer beach party. Toss around the floppy disk, open a bag of microchips, and interface with a sexy comedy Man. that will light up your terminal. Ugh. They are going for all the puns. Every pun possible. Surfing buddies Andy and Dennis find what? their... Does it say surfing buddies? Um, yeah, surfing buddies Andy and Dennis. They don't surf they at don't any surf, point. Yeah. They wind. Is that windsurfing? Is that what that's called? Yeah, they got like this... You know, like windsurfing thing going on right there. Break out, break out! This damn fly keeps biting me. <laughs> anyway, all right. all right. Find their prime turf is going to be radically changed by uncool Mayor Dawes for a private development. A real beach bummer. Realizing that things don't compute, the guys plan a major mayor protest party. A major mayor protest party on the beach by linking up hundreds of friends on their home computer. I can't wait to talk about that part. Using their hardware to attract software, like girls? I guess. <laughs> come on, come on. It's time to party. I'm talking, be party. They have created a whole new version of the data game. Come down what? to the shore for a totally gnarly bash that Annette and Frankie could only dream about. Interesting that they oh, mentioned those yeah, two. yeah, yeah, that's... We'll get to that later. Yeah, later on in the show. Um, so, Paul, can you give me a percentage of how much of that was accurate? Computing data now, 3.5%. <laughs> Chips, meaning that uh, we're talking electronics, we're talking computers, floppy disks, you know, as if I were to stick my floppy disk in your terminal and we were to interface. 
Jeez. They just got a bunch of people and then like snuck away in the middle of the party and yeah. like oh, tore down. Funny. Hey, puppy. Hi. Hey. How, How are you, you doing? <laughs> we have a friend. Okay, cool. <laughs> well. That's fine. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Always nice to make new friends at the beach. Always. That's what the beach is for. That's why we're here. And in Computer Beach Party, they want to make a lot of new friends. So they so they get on the internet. Apparently, in 1985, they get on the internet. Mm -hmm. And they just start putting in data like, okay, we want 40 girls at this party. We want t only 10 guys. Yeah, we 10 guys. Should we have a band? Yeah, let's get a band. <laughs> you know? Now, how many girls you want? Uh, uh, 20. 20 girls. You sure? Yeah. 20, 20 girls. girls. For uh, me. 20 for you. That makes 40. All right, 40 girls. How many guys? Uh, let's make it just 10. 10 guys? 40 yeah. girls? All right. Oh, and sandwiches? No, we're going to have to get the sandwiches ourselves. They have to go to a grocery store for the sandwiches. Yeah, they, they're big on sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Sandwiches and stuff? That we'll have to pick up ourselves. Okay. This is great! We're saying that this movie isn't what we expected it to be, but that's not to say that the movie wasn't extremely interesting to watch. I actually had a blast watching this thing because it was so strangely ineptly put together. I, I honestly have not seen a movie so strange since I would say Manos the Hands of Fate. Yeah, there was a lot of shots that went way too long. Yeah. They didn't have a deed to anybody who bought land on our beach. Yep. Shots hang on for way too long. You're just like, okay, we can we can move on, we can cut now, let's do something else. And there's just no sense of pacing or timing or anything. Now, the dialogue, especially between two different characters, a lot sounded like David Lynch wrote the dialogue. <laughs> just very awkward, and it didn't work in this side of sort of setting. Yeah. Can I, can I get some water? Uh, yeah, so how you doing? Could I have a glass of water? Yeah. Sure. Sure. How are you? Just weird. Very, very strange. Adding to the ineptness, if you will, there's also, um, oops, sorry, computer beach party. Most of the, a lot, I'll say a lot of the dialogue was ADR. Oh, everything was dubbed. Yeah. So, well, I'll tell you, to start, you can take some of that stuff out of the side right there. Uh, this right here? Yeah. Okay, I got it. No problem. Yeah. What next? All right, catch this sign over here. Uh -huh. Be this careful. Right, right, no, I'm being careful. All right. Come on, pick it up. I got it. I got it. Nope. I, oh, oh, oh. You could tell that it was ADR, and it wasn't done very well at all. It, a lot of it didn't, like, match up, so a lot of it was just really like, oh, boy, this is student film quality here. Come on, help me, will you? Sure, what you got going here, guy? I need to move this regulator and put it next to the poloscovator. It had, I mean, it's called Computer Beach Party, and you could say that there was a, there was computers in it, and there was Beach Party in it, but never at the same time. Never at the same time. But it was still, for me, tons of fun to watch. I really enjoyed, there's, there's a band in it that really Man. tears it up. Like, they, the, the band played two full songs in it. Yeah. I'm fairly certain those were like, we'll give you music videos if you do play in this movie or something. Right. It did, they did the whole soundtrack, I believe. Yeah, because it basically plays like a music video. Yeah, Predator, I think, was the name of them? Uh, Panther. Panther, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were pretty rocking, though. Man, it was... Weird. And then there's also a very strange subplot involving a chicken car. Yeah, there's like a couple of rowdy kids. Yeah. Or no, there's one kid. There's one guy who keeps bringing chicks out right. and, and, and banging them at the beach in his car. Hey, look, the chicken car. <laughs> oh, 
And so this one cop, and these people at no point show up in any other scenes. It's just a weird, like, D storyline yeah. that happens. And so he's out there always doing that. This cop's always trying to catch him. I'm gonna get him this time, that damn chicken girl! So then he's like, oh, I gotta get you, and I'll get you next time, you kids. We don't know kids. why, like, I guess because they're speeding, maybe? I don't know. I think so, yeah, it's going real fast, because yeah. he mumbles something at some point about something like that. It's weird. There's, there's tons of weird stuff going on, and that's why I, I really enjoyed it, because it was just, every, every single minute was something just utterly baffling and oddly put together and confusing but interesting at the same time the way that they did it you know mm -hmm. I liked it a lot me too and you know Paul I think uh, you bring up a good point with this putting things together yeah. like, a, like a movie why don't we do a little segment uh, f food pairings oh you want to do some food pairings for this movie I think that's a great idea well you know when I'm thinking about beach movies and when I'm thinking about being at the beach Look, you got the whole beach back here. Mm hmm And what is... Yeah. Water. This is the beach. Oh. You got the whole ocean back here. Yes. What is in the ocean? What are in lakes? What are in oceans? Snakes. No. Well, maybe. But fish. Ah. You're going to want to go out here, mm -hmm. get on a boat, get some fishing gear put together, mm -hmm. catch yourself like a, like a swordfish or something. Mm-hmm. Bring it to the beach here, clean it, gut it, cook it up, get it ready for computer beach party, and you will enjoy it a lot. Very nice. I would uh, say a nice simple, simple uh, dish to put together for watching computer beach party is uh, just make some beer nachos. Oh, because as, as seen in computer as beach party. seen in computer beach party, there is a gentleman who has a uh, just a bowl of of. Tortilla chips, it looks like. Yeah, they're at a restaurant. Or they're something. just hanging out talking, and at some point, he just casually takes his beer and just pours it, like, like, like intentionally, like in a <laughs> like circle, like, he, yeah, like he's making sure it all gets it, and then he <laughs> eats it. Look, it's like radar, see? Pulls you across the finish line like a magnet. I don't want to win a race tomorrow, but I want to be fair about it, guy. And it's oh. dripping through this basket, because it's like one of those baskets at like a yeah. drive-in restaurant or something. It's, But you know what? I haven't tried it, and I'm going to try it. I think it we should do that. Hey, we should. We should go home and, and watch Computer Beach Party again and just sort of dump some Miller Lite on some nachos. Yes. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Yum. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Let's uh, let's rate this thing. What do you what do you say? Oh boy, Computer I'm. Beach party. I uh, uh, apart from the fact that I have the microphone in my hand, I'm going to give it a a zero and a one because of digital. That's a good score. Just a zero and a one because it's binary. Like a zero, one 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 hand or one. Yeah, one whole hand uh -huh. and a zero hand. I gotcha. So, because it's binary code. I gotcha. You get it? No. Zeros and ones? Because of computers. Yes! Got it, got it. That makes sense. Well, I liked it a lot, so I am going to have to give it one hand up in the air mm -hmm. and a hang ten, man, because it was... Oh. And a hang ten, man, because it was totally gnarly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, computer beach party. Well, this was a delight. Total delight. Let's throw it out to our man on the street, JP, and see what he's talking about today. What's up, JP? Guys, that movie sounds great, but I'm here to tell you about a real gem I saw last night. It's called Pearl Harbor. Now, it's two tapes, but you only need one VCR to enjoy Ben Affleck winning the love of a nurse during World War II. The movie has everything, special effects, now, polio made using my legs really difficult, but I still jump for joy when I think about what a great movie this is. Rent it today. Well, thanks a lot, bud. Back to us. Paul, up next. Back to the beach. Get your girl or your girl, whatever you feel, hey. Gonna hit the beach today. We're back to the beach. We're still here. Well, we never left. Yeah, we're still but here. But you guys are back. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for being here with us. Back to the beach. Mike, I believe that uh, 
you are a little bit more familiar with this film than I am, having seen it uh, a while back, yeah? Mm-hmm. So why, oh, don't, yeah. why don't you uh, read the back here for us and tell us, I'll hold this, and you can tell us a little bit about what this movie is all about. Sure. Cowabunga! The surfing 60s right into the new wave 80s as Frankie and Annette star in this hip update to their old time, good time beach movies. With special appearances by Bob Denver, Tony Dow, Pee Wee Herman, Jerry Mathers, and many other familiar faces. God. <laughs> Mike's having some trouble with some flies biting him. Ugh. Sorry. Keep going. Uh, well, that's the end. Oh. Short and sweet. They just, it really relies on the fact that they've got a lot of cameos in this description. There are so many cameos in this film, and honestly, it's pretty amazing for it. Excuse me, ma'am, but I believe this is my bag. Would you believe that I own the biggest yacht in the world? Well, Jer, it was well performed. It moved quickly, and the ending was exciting and original. Well, first of all, the stars the stars of the film are, uh, if, if I understand correctly, and you seem to, for some reason, know more about this than than, than I do. Even though I'm a little older than you and mm-hmm. should know more about it, you're sure. like you're you're the expert for this one. Well, I know about expert, but just yeah, Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello, yeah, classic uh, beach beach movie folk you know they were in beach movies in the they like were, 60s yeah the tons of them lots of these you know beach blanket bingo uh, we're hanging out at the beach time movie and you know all that kind of stuff <gasps> that hair that smile those you're a net I... <laughs> it must be so wonderful being you why yes it is <laughs> and you're the big chihuahua kahuna but that's way back in the past and so they play themselves in back to the beach yes and they are like together. At least we assume they never say their last names, but they're both. It's Frankie and Annette. They call them, that's their names in the movie. So I assume that's you know what, they're married or whatever yeah, in the movie. They, well, they well they're married in this movie. Yeah, I don't are know. They're they they married are. in real life. I'm not sure. We could have looked that up, but we didn't, did we? No. Whatever. We didn't do our research. No, we can put a oh, thing well. at the bottom. Okay, gang, we're heading for the course. It's Beach City, baby. Yeah. So they're a married you know, couple, and they're having trouble. They're, they're, the uh, life's just boring. So they, they got a kid. He's a real, real brat kid. Oh man, the kid it's is the just best. amazing. Yeah. I think it means she's not in. Boy, it's quite a piece of dialogue when you two intellectual giants get together. I should be writing this down. This kid's starting to bug me in there. Oh, I I'm know. telling you, Bobby, that's enough. That's enough. But so they decide that they're gonna go revitalize their marriage and their love for each other by going back to the beach. They're going to go back to where they used to hang out and, you know, whatever you want. Well, they're going to, aren't they going to see their daughter? Oh, yeah, they're going, yeah, they're going to, they're going to Maui, supposedly, aren't they? They're going to Hawaii, but they're going to stop off in, in California, yeah, to, to see their daughter. I don't want this to happen when we get to Los Angeles. I thought we were going to Hawaii. Well, we're stopping in L.A. to see your sister, Sandy. Sandy? No, Dad, don't. My little baby. My honey bunny, my lammy whammy. <laughs> this is why we don't travel. Whatever her name is, but it's the, uh, the, the aunt from, uh... Full House. Yeah. Uh, Becky or Rebecca? Becky. Yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, Jesse's girlfriend, right? Yeah. On the show. Yeah. And she's looking good and back mm. to the beach. I happen to be in the middle of a family crisis. And if that just inconveniences you a little, well, too bad. A real a real 80s babe. Oh, yeah. Real good. So they go hang out with her. Yeah, they go hang out with her. She's got this uh, this boyfriend who's who's, I don't know, dumb or whatever, but... The dad is not into it. Well, Fra- no. Frankie's a little upset. It's the stereotypical dad does, you know, they're living together and the dad's not having it, you know. Right. Say, uh, can I get you a used Ford Fairlane or something? No. But would you mind if I married your daughter? It's you! It's you! <coughs> hey. Have you been hey. sleeping with my daughter? Hey. He's not pleased with this. So... Yeah, so there's that controversy, and they end up, you know, the the whole problem in the movie is that, what is it? They're like 
they start fighting because they think they're flirting with other people or something? Well, Frankie has uh, one of his former flings show up. Yeah, yeah, she's running a bar or something. Somebody get me a net! <laughs> oh. uh, uh, Connie, you remember a net, huh? Well, I didn't mean that kind of a net. <laughs> and so, yeah, so then Annette gets jealous and she starts flirting with this guy and... Their whole relationship falls apart. All, you think they're not going to get back together. You're worried about it. Yeah. Real Pam and Jim sort of thing. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. Come on, Annette, lighten up. Lighten up? If this marriage gets any lighter, it'll float. But let's talk about the kid in this movie, oh, the yeah. son, because he is absolutely amazing. He has some great lines in this movie and, and plays his character really well. Yeah, he's just a little little punk kid. Yeah. You know, he especially literally gets into like the whole he gets out there and he just starts rebelling from his parents, which they I don't think they care. They don't even notice that he's there really, right? right. So what do you say we do some damage to my dad's American Express card? <laughs> <laughs> They're too focused on everything else going on. He's got a whole chest piece like tattoo. <laughs> Bobby? Yeah, Ma? What is that on your chest? It's the bloody surf demon on the beach of despair, and I love it. It represents my disgust toward the world you grown ups made. It's good. Go. Unlike the bee. Unlike, we've got a little bit of a bee problem here because we got some sweet beach drinks, and uh, the bees are into it. They're digging it. Anyway, oh, I wanted to mention at the beginning of the movie when they're on the plane stopping off at Los Angeles and they are on the sweetest airplane known to man the kid is on this sweet spiral staircase just chilling just hanging out don't get him started on the surf accident around our house we have this nightly ritual it's called dinner and then the accident story it was great I loved it uh what else uh well there's all the cameos I mean Bob Denver's there and he's just tending he's bar. He's just tending bar for some reason. As Bob Denver, right? As Gilligan. Oh, he's Gilligan, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, I lived with a guy for years, a real genius. I mean, he could take a couple of these, you know, a couple of coconuts, a piece of string, and make a nuclear reactor. But he couldn't fix a two-foot hole in a boat. You want to hear the rest? No! But how great would it be to just be hanging out at a, a bar somewhere on the beach in Los Angeles... You go up, and the bartender is Bob Denver in full Gilligan's Island gear, yeah. just chilling. That would be amazing. Yeah. Because the, the skipper comes in at some point, too. Yeah, at, at the end, is sort of like a, a like a cameo cameo. Yeah, he's like, you wanna, hey, hey, little buddy, you want to go on a little boat tour? Now, we'll be back real soon. It's only a three-hour tour. It's never a three-hour tour. Come on, little Uh, Fishbone, the, the band is in this, like, as as Fishbone. They just come out and they do a... Annette and Fishbone do a ska song together. Ska, ska, ska. Jamaica ska. Ska, ska, ska. Do the ska. Like, it's weird. Uh, it's awesome, though. No, it's I mean, awesome. it's yeah, like it's this, this weird genre or, or like generational mixing of stuff going on yeah I think that's also like the main like theme going on it's a lot of like the young the new generation right. and then the older like this is how we used to do it but oh look at these kids now they're doing it this way yeah. and, it, and it turns out that hey they can get along right we can all get along if we just you know if we just party if we just try and hard just go back to the beach yeah that's all you gotta do is go back to the beach yeah. we used to have a hell of a lot of fun on this beach oh honey we still can. The, the weird kind of chubby ginger guy that's for oh, some yeah. reason in the whole movie. Yeah, he's all over. There's some like punk guy. Like he's part of the surfer gang. But he's in like, ev like every shot. He's somewhere in the background. He's weird. He's, and he looks goofy. He's cool though. Oh, he's awesome. I'd be his friend. <laughs> knife. Call me Knife. Nice? You want us to call you nice? <laughs> okay. He's all over this thing. All over this movie. He loves to get back to the beach just like we do. Yes, he does. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah, we gotta talk about Pee Wee's cameo. Oh, absolutely. Pee Wee is in this movie. He's, they're at the big, one of the big part, or the big climax party, and like, he just comes, he's carried on a surfboard by a bunch of people out of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> Well, everybody's heard about the bird! 
and they put him up on a, as a stage or a bar or yeah. something like that. And he gets up there and he just starts singing a song and just dancing like crazy. And it's fantastic. Big Adventure had come out at that point, right? So he was probably pretty big. Yeah, he's, I bet you he's a big get. Yeah, he was a big star. Yeah. So he really comes out and spices things up a little and bit. And just flies, like on a magic carpet. Flies off into outer space on his surfboard. No joke. <laughs> There's oh no my other gosh. special effects in this movie, except Pee Wee rocketing off into the night sky on a surfboard. Just, I'm done with my song. Later, guys. <laughs> Mike, I enjoyed this movie a lot. Sure. And I think I might like to watch it again. Me too. What I'd like to do, though, is maybe get some food for next time. Uh, I see what you're getting at Get here. some food pairings together. You got any ideas for, for what might go well with uh, Back to the Beach? Well, I know this isn't food. But I think some real good tiki drinks would go well with this. Oh, that's a great idea. You know, I just think that would go very well. Especially, you gotta, you gotta really make them stereotypical, like out of a out of a pineapple with the, the flowers and all that stuff. Just real get crazy with yeah. it. Have a really elaborate tiki drinks. Just get really into it. Yeah, it'd be fun. Bye, Tanner. Another drink, old boy. Don't call me that. I hate being called that. I think, actually, we could pair our pairings. Oh. You do your tiki drinks, okay. and I just want to get some beach tacos. Oh, yeah. You know, just just hit up a, a real good local uh, taco shop, good save, and uh, you know, get some uh, some El Pastor tacos, maybe some uh, cilantro, maybe a dash of onion, just a little bit. Sprinkle some hot sauce on there, just mm -hmm. just a touch, and uh, you know, get the tiki drinks going. Yeah. Pop this bad boy on. You know, maybe even, like, go down to the beach and, like, watch it on, like, a portable TV or whatever. Awesome. Get a get a Get some beach balls and some babes going and everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe to go back to a computer beach party, get on the internet, mm -hmm. order 40 babes to show up <laughs> to watch the movie with, and then you're, you're set they for the night. They didn't even, like, specify friends. All they said, we want 40 women. Okay. And they just type in 40 women. Send. Uh, 20, 20 girls. You sure? Yeah. 20, 20 girls, girls for uh, me. 20 for you. That makes 40. All right, 40 girls. <laughs> like it did make sense. See how amazing this movie is? We're, we're reviewing a different movie and we're still talking about Computer Beach Party. Back to the beach, Mike. What do you give it? Paul, I give it one hand out here, one hand back here, so I can ride the waves back. Because it's two hands... Like a surfboard? No. Can you hold on to this? Yeah. Ask me what I'm going to give it. Oh. Paul, what are you going to give this movie for a rating? Two hands, but going totally like this. We're doing the same thing. Holy Moses. Surf's up, dude. We're surfing it. I didn't, I didn't plan it. We didn't plan it. We did not plan that. That was weird. I mean, you kind of. that's what you kind of have to give it. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. There's really no other option. No, there's no other option. Well... Thanks for hanging out with us today on the beach. It's been a delight, guys. I hope I'm not, uh, I didn't put any sunscreen on or anything. I no, hope we're not going to burn up. We're going we're gonna to die. Yeah, we're, we might have a little bit of uh, some peeling later on today. But you know what? It was worth it to review these movies and to tell you guys all about them. We had a lot of fun. We're going to hang out at the beach. Thanks for joining us on this special beach edition of B-Movie Mania! Thank you.